All right, guys, so skipping our normal intro, I want to talk about a special app that was created by one of the Digimon Rerise uh, community members. Now, I meant to get this video out about three or four days ago. I just talked to him yesterday saying that uh, probably my next video that's going to upload was going to be about this app. And here we are. Finally got some time. Now, his name is DK. He actually has a longer name, but I don't want to butcher it. So for the sake of saying his, his name incorrectly, I want to go ahead and just call him DK for short. Very, very cool app that is created. Now, it's only an APK. You can get the download link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video if you guys want to show some love to our boy DK for doing something like this. So, if you're looking for a quick app for Android devices, again, there is no iOS uh, version to my knowledge yet. I don't know if he's planning on making one for iOS or not. It's a lot harder to make iOS apps because Apple is, you know, they got a lot of these restrictions, regulations, where APKs are kind of more or less just more open. You can just throw them up anywhere you can throw them up in a link people can download them quickly can't really do that so much with ios apps unfortunately so i don't know if that will ever come but if you are an android user this app is awesome because if you need some quick information on a digimon be it a rookie or all the way up to mega you can quickly type in their name go right to them and check out their stats he's even got just a long list of digimon he's even got the color i'm sorry we jumped ahead of the game here um he's also got the colors behind the Digimon showing that, you know, that's the type of Digimon it is. If it's yellow, you know, for tenacious, red for brave, green for devoted, purple for depth, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very cool stuff there. Um, I'm just, I really like it. It's simplistic, but it's straight to the point. It's giving you the information you need now without having to search all over the world for it. Now, I do my preview videos for certain Digimon mostly Megas on my channel, which is very cool, very helpful, because I actually kind of dive into that Digimon and talk about it. Um, but this is even more helpful because during the break period between a lot of those videos that I do, there's a lot of Digimon that I haven't covered yet. And some of you don't want to wait until I can upload a video like that. Um, so this is a helpful way to just kind of jump in and get the information for yourselves when you need it on the go. So... Again, DK, thanks so much for making this app. Very, very cool. He said he's got a lot of work still to do. He's still going to keep adding to it, especially when new Digimon come out. So it's going to be an ongoing work in progress. So if you guys, again, want to show some support, definitely go download the app, share it, talk about it, give the man some love, and don't forget to like today's video. So let's show off some of the cool things that this app can already do. So you can actually search by level. You know, you can go level, max level. Uh, you can search uh, by HP as well, which is really cool. You can search by the Digimon with the highest HP, which right now in global is Grand Kawagamon at 89.81. You can search by Power Tech. The strongest power right now available is 43.09 from Venom Iotismon. And then Creepymon comes in second. Shine Greymon at three and War Greymon at four. And then Mega Gargamon to round off the top five in fifth. Very, very cool. You can search by the highest defenses. You search by the highest speed, which, of course, right now is only 27. We don't have 30 or 44 yet because we know who 44 is. Old Force Vigramon, which, by the way, will be our next preview Digimon. Uh, DPS. And what's really cool is he has um, total stats as well, which Digimon has the most collective stats in the game. If you actually look when I'm going through all of these, there's a number to the very right side, and it says total. You have uh, 12,420 from Creepymon. So he's got the most total stats in the entire game available right now. He's got 12,420 total in stats. And then you got a lot that are at, that are tied at 10,606, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, work your way all the way down. So very, very cool there. And then you can actually open this up. And you can just search by Baby, Champion, and Training, Mega, rookie or ultimate so you can just kind of take off all this stuff and we'll only see the rookies so another cool thing there and then you can cancel it out if you don't want to see anything you can also search by personality brave calm depth devoted to niches targets uh very very cool you can go if they only do single targets um doubles triples quads um or full aoe which would be five he could probably just remove the five and just make it aoe but um and then you got effects, you got poison, freeze, stun, sleep. I mean, this is just very, very helpful. This will just kind of like, if you're looking for a Digimon, and you're like, you're asking yourself, what Digimon has shock? You know, boom, click shock, and then the game will tell you. You know, boom. If you want to look for a Digimon that's, Kim, that's got pinpoint, you can click that as well, which would, um, so as you can see, there's still a work in progress, because there is a couple that can do pinpoint that I know of. 
Um, Blind, of course, Phantomon, Piedmon, Ravemon, etc. You got some that can do Error, Infermon, Evamon, you know, Stun, etc., etc. So very, very helpful. Very, very cool stuff. I am glad that he made this again. You can also go up here to the search, and you can just search any Digimon you're looking for. Let's just search by War. You know, go type in War. We'll pop up War Grandmon, and boom. And when you eventually do check out the Digimon, he has the name. He has the level, which would be 99. It's, of course, Mega Digivolution. So he'll show you what the evolution grade is. The attribute, of course, for War Grade is Fire. So he's got the attribute information. He's got all the base stats for HP, Power, or Tech, Defense, and Speed. And then he's got the passive skill, main skill, and sub skill, including their name of the skill as well. The only thing I feel that he's missing is probably the cooldowns, but that's it. And then maybe even in the future, he'll even show you what skill level 10 stats will be for your skills as well and their cooldowns. So it's gonna be a work in progress, but it's very, very cool. I think he's done a great job so far. Again, if you wanna get this app, it'll be in the description below. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So again, big shout out to DK. Like the video, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Tick notifications, join us in the Discord, in the description as well. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Have an awesome day and weekend wherever you are. Until then, peace.